my dreamless sleep. I was just in time to witness the end of the world. So we've gone from corridors and tattoos to Doctor Who to this. Lightning Returns colon Final Fantasy 13 with that post colon bit feeling almost completely superfluous. We've run into the ground that yes, Final Fantasy 13 probably would have been a better game without the Final Fantasy name. At least it would have been perceived better. The Bouncer didn't have to have Final Fantasy on it, Einhander didn't, nor did Brave Fencer Musashi or Drakengard. Final Fantasy XIII 2 tried to dispel some of the issues by utilizing a much more non-linear structure and putting more Moogles around for the sake of it. Apparently that wasn't enough. Apparently there wasn't enough open-ended questing, enough exploration, enough purple. I'll help you out, but only if you tell me who you really are. I knew you were clever. Yes, I'm no cat. At least not on the inside. There we go. In the space of three games, we've gone from what many derided as a hallway simulator to, hey, here's a city. Save some souls and watch the clock. Now, Lightning's a messianic figure here to lead the devout from the end of days to a new paradise. That's right, there's a Final Fantasy where religion is not the default evil. Maybe. There's plenty of twisting and turning, flowery language, and Lightning being aloof, so you're still getting plenty of Final Fantasy-like substance, but the mechanics are completely off. There's no party, not even the two in a Pokemon configuration of the last title. There's a clock, a deadline, and plenty of quests to fill time. Party fiance. She left me standing there like a fool at the altar. Do you really it's a mission based Final Fantasy. Yes, that feels kind of weird. But as a veteran of the MMO editions, it's not the worst way to handle things. Lightning trudges about the world, a savior amongst a damned people, with that jackass Hope as your spotter. And I don't mean badass Dr. Hope Estime from 13 2. No, he's back to being the jackass kid from the first game. And no, they don't even know how. Okay, that's most of the grating old 13 stuff out of the way. What's left is kind of an RPG, kind of not. What it is, is pretty damn engaging and action-oriented. Sometimes. <laughs> Lightning Returns finds itself in the same boat as 10-2. Some folks are going to dislike it based entirely on what they know about the characters, or what the characters have become, and thus are going to miss out on one of the better mechanical evolutions of the series. The frantic style shifting of the two previous 13s returns in a modified form, where instead of paradigms to shift, you've got three different schemata available during battle. Each of these has a combination of garb, sword, and shield that increase various parameters and can be mixed, matched, and recolored to your specifications. Yes, it's dress up. You get to dress her up with attacks, spells, debuffs, and stat bonuses. You know, like you've done in every other RPG ever, except now she is rocking the what if King from Art of Fighting joined the Saints look. I saw this coming. 13 3 has a lot going against it, and most of that is prejudice. The rest is my natural proclivity to picture Daria Morgendorfer's face on Lightning's body every time her delivery gets a bit too monotonous. And that's kind of unfortunate because the rest of the game is quite appealing. The rushing around beneath the time limit, the salvation of souls, the combat, mostly the combat, and the kind of deranged world building that would create a Zagat reader's paradise at the end of time. The cast is just familiar enough, but so distorted that the whole thing feels like the new adventure it tries to be. I'm no 13 apologist, but I couldn't tear myself away from it. There was always one more person to help, one more quest to complete, one more monster to beat up. As I realize it's a cash-in, recycling most of its assets from music to graphics to monsters to in-game terminology, playing it all again to tell another chapter of a story nobody really took to the first time, and only begrudgingly accepted the second time, because Ultros and Gilgamesh were DLC and that's almost worth it on its own. I don't know. Maybe I kind of want to go back and play the other two. Now, wait, what am I saying? Has this been their plot all along? I need 400 cc's of Final Fantasy V, stat. Choco, Chocobo, it's time to tell. What are the magic words? I don't have a choice, do I? Uh, meow, meow, Choco Chow. Adorable! Here, this is for you! 